all right so welcome to the video and today i'm going to show you guys how to edit using lightroom so in this video i'm going to edit two photos one from amsterdam one from korea yeah so finally i'm recording this video after you guys have been asking for months and months and months so yeah now i'm finally recording so let's waste no time and get straight into it so we have this photo from amsterdam which is in the very popular pov that i uploaded around November last year so yeah now let's okay so let's start with the light section so highlights to whack it down shadows whack it up whites also whack it up even though I just brought down the highlights but it's fine blacks we can leave it for now contrast around 20 this yeah this is this is what my typical settings for light when it looks like unless I normally need to adjust the exposure tone curve for this image we don't really need the tone curve we just edit the colors using the color section so let's come down here so i normally like to touch the orange so slightly bring it down to minus 17 saturation up by about 10 yellows the same thing about minus 16 for hue, saturation up a bit more though to about 25. And then come to the blues. This one, I just up the saturation to about plus 25. I think that's looking, actually no, we decrease it a little bit. Yeah, to plus 20, I think that's good. Now I come to the color gradient wheels, which which is where I bring out most of my colors. So I normally like to keep my shadows in the blues, highlights in the oranges or yellows. I don't really touch the midtones. So if you drag this bit to about here, I think that's good. Then we drag this bit to about, to about there. I think that's good. And drag this bit to this orange section there. And then drag it up to about there. I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I think that's good, yeah. Now blending, I like to whack it up to 100. Clarity decreased to about minus 10, which is what I've been doing recently is decreasing the clarity in my images because sometimes it's just too clinically like yeah clinically sharp and it takes away from the image so if if you feel your image is too sharp or there's something off just try decreasing the clarity a little bit and it might be what was missing from the edit so yeah now you're probably looking at this image and thinking that it's too cold too cold too cool because it is so if we just increase the temperature slider just by a tad bit, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Now vibrance, <laughs> you can go anyways about this, but I normally leave it to about plus 20-ish around that area. Saturation plus five is what, what I normally leave it at. So now we can come to the local adjustments using the ai we can select the sky that was very quick so we can slightly increase it i think that's yeah that's what it needs contrast increase it slightly highlights down slightly mm. i think that's good for the temperature slider dehaze as well increase it dehaze really brings out the texture so normally what I like to do for the sky adjustments is increase the saturation plus the TAs but you have to be really picky about it that way but if you use it correctly it will give you some really awesome results in the sky for and after the sky so yeah I think that's good if you come to this ferry here and I press S which is 
select an adjustment in the local adjustment section or the masking section. Yeah, that's that's good. If you come to this and then increase it to about plus 30, I think that's good. Plus 30? Yeah. I think that's good. You could probably increase the high oh increase the highlights as well. To about there. Increase the whites. Just to make it stand out. Alright, so that's what the image is looking like looking like right now. <coughs> Firstly think is a bit underexposed. Yeah. Probably bring up the exposure a tad bit to about plus 34. Plus 0.34. And honestly, I'm really liking how that image is looking right now. So if we crop it or straighten it, <laughs> auto straight just didn't. It did nothing. It just made what is this? <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's pretty straight at the moment. I think that's good. And then yeah. So that is pretty much it for this photo. Now what I would do is take into Photoshop and remove this section because that is a big eyesore. That is a big eyesore. So yeah. But what we could do is go into healing here and remove this cone here. Like that. So you can use content aware for content aware for content aware tool or the heal tool, which is I normally use those two for like small things. If you want to remove bigger things, then Photoshop is the way. So if you want to learn, no, if you want me to show you guys how to use Photoshop to remove items, then let me know in the comments and I'll make a part two to this video. And yeah, so we just use the heal tool, zoom in, and uh, you can either just click like that and remove it, or you can like kind of paint over it like this and yeah that is it's like it was never there so yeah I think that image is done now the only thing I would do is probably add a linear gradient down here like so like that but I would leave that for after I take this photo into Photoshop and remove this then I would add the linear gradient on the Photoshop image, so yeah. Now, you, now you take it. Oh, let me just remove this. <laughs> so now you took your image from this to this, all in the space of about seven minutes. So yeah. So now let's edit this photo. So we could basically just copy the settings from this photo, paste it here and you've already got yourself a decent looking image. So first first of all, the detail on this image is ridiculous. So first of all, let's reset the color temp. Uh, as shot, yeah, here. Yeah. So if we decrease the temperature just a slight bit, because it was a bit too yellow, and then, honestly, that image is pretty much done, but we could do a few more adjustments. First of all, we can decrease the blacks a tad bit. And then let's do a masking for the sky. That's a pretty good mask. And increase the contrast on the sky. Decrease the highlights, not that much. Decrease the shadows. Uh, increase the white slightly, saturation up it by about, I think that's, that's good. Then dehaze, this is where the magic comes in, look at that, look at that, that's just insane. So if we leave it to about here, we increase the saturation a little bit more, then I've right, gone from the sky looking pretty bland from this to this. All, all in one, two, three, four, five sliders. So yeah, I think that image is pretty much done. 
it could do a lens correction. Yeah, that's good. But now that we added the lens cor correction, we could probably add a vignette to it as well. And yeah, that is pretty much done. That, that detail is silly. Oh my god. Yeah. That is. That's pretty much it. That's my. This is typically how I edit my photos. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. And yeah, if you want part two for Photoshop for a more in-depth video, then let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to record that video. So yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day. And yeah, 